Hi everyone, in this video I will be installing Arch Linux on my computer. I currently have Windows 11 installed and will be installing Arch alongside the same physical drive. You'll need a USB drive with a size of at least 1 GB to put the Arch Linux ISO on. I will be using one that is 4 GB. When Windows is initially installed, a 100 MB EFI partition is created for the Windows bootloader information. Windows is known for removing any other bootloader information on the EFI partition, which could happen after a Windows update. So to avoid this, a separate EFI partition will be created on the drive where the Arch Linux bootloader information will be stored. As this is a separate EFI partition, Windows should not be touching it. I've used Windows 11 22H2 updated to 23H2 and all patches to this day, I haven't seen any issues. So before starting, always take backups. First, I'm going to download Arch. So go to archlinux.org. On the right side, go to download. And then pick a mirror that you want to download. I'll just go to the worldwide mirror and then you can download the ISO file. And I've already downloaded on my computer. And then next is we'll need Rufus. You go to rufus.ie and then scroll down and then download Rufus. So I have downloaded the portable version and they are in my downloads folder. And now we're gonna put the Arch Linux ISO image onto the USB drive. So open up Rufus and select the image and ensure your device is the USB drive. And then you can leave the rest as defaults and you can hit start, hit okay. And you can hit okay here. Okay. And once it's done, go into disk management. And so I have here my C drive, it's 127 gigabytes. So I'll need to shrink this volume to make room for Arch Linux. So I'm gonna right click, shrink volume. So I'm going to have 50 gigabytes for Arch Linux, 51200 megabytes. And now there's 50 gigabytes unallocated. And now I'm gonna reboot and boot into the USB drive. Okay, and you get the grub menu and then pick Arch Linux install medium. Okay, it's loaded up and I'm gonna type in IP ADDR. So ETH0 is set up as a DHCP client and I got an IP address from my router, 172.18.90.143. And I'm going to ping out just to make sure that I have internet connectivity. And I've confirmed that I have internet connectivity. Next, I'll need to create partitions for Arch Linux. Do fdisk-l to review my current partition structure. And SDA1 is related to my EFI partition and SDA2, 3 and 4 is related to Microsoft Windows. So now I'm gonna do an fdisk dev slash SDA and then do a P to print and we'll get the same information again. And then you can type in M for help. And now I'm going to add a new partition. So N, keep it as default as five. And then the default first sector and then it's gonna be one gigabyte, so plus one G, and then gonna create a new partition again. And this is gonna be for slash or for root. So keep the first sector as the default, and then we're gonna do plus 20 G. And then the last partition is going to be for slash home. And this is gonna be for the remaining space. So I could just hit enter, and it assigns it as 29 gigabytes, and then P to print. And then we're gonna type in W just to write and save the changes. And now I'm going to use Arch install to automate the installation. So I'm going down to mirrors and then pick your region, United States, back. And I'm gonna keep the locales as the default, back. And then disk configuration, go to manual partitioning. And I'm gonna select my disk, SDA. And I'm gonna go down to my one gigabyte partition here. I'm gonna assign a mount point slash boot, go back down to the one gigabyte partition, mark, unmark to be formatted, select it again, change the file system, FAT32. Next, going to the 21 gigabyte partition, assign a mount point, slash, go back down, mark, unmark to be formatted, go back again, change the file system, ext4, 
go down to the 31 gigabyte partition, assign the mount point slash home, go back down, mark on mark to be formatted. Again, change the file system, ext4. So we have slash boot, slash, and slash home. Confirm and exit. I'm not going to do disk encryption. Bootloader, I'm going to set it as grub. Unified kernel images, I'm going to set as false. Swap is true. Host name, I'm going to change it. Put in a root password. Create a user account. Add a user. Yes. Confirm and exit. Profile type. I'm going to set it as desktop. I'm going to use cinnamon. From here, select the graphics driver, AMD, Intel, or NVIDIA. I'm going to use all open source. And you can go to greeter and you can change your greeter. I'm going to use the default. Back. Audio. Audio, I'm setting it as pipe wire. So you can set here other packages such as Firefox, GIMP, etc. So I'll put in Firefox. Network configuration, use network manager. And time zone, pick the time zone that you're in. And then automatic time sync, leave it as true. And you can go to optional repositories. You can go if you want to enable multi-lib or testing. And then once ready, go to install. Okay, and it has finished. And would you like to cheer root into the newly created installation and perform post installation configuration? Yes. And now I'm going to run EFI boot manager. And we see here that there is no entry for Arch Linux. So we're going to do a grub install to fix that. Grub dash install dash dash target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI dash dash EFI dash directory equals slash boot dash dash recheck and it has installed. Now I'll do an EFI boot manager and we see that there's an entry now for Arch and now I'm going to exit and reboot. Make sure that grub comes up. All right, we see here that grub comes up properly and Arch Linux is there, but there's no Windows boot manager here. So we're going to fix that. Go back into Arch Linux, log in. Once logged in, open up a terminal, go into sudo in, and we're going to use package manager to install OS Prober so that it can probe for other operating systems. All right, it's been installed. Next is going to edit the Etsy default grub file and going to the bottom. And we're going to remove the hash from grub underscore disable underscore OS prober and then control X to exit and then save modified buffer. Yes. And then hit enter and I'm going to type in OS prober. So it has found the Windows boot manager on SDA one and we're going to do a grub make config. All right, so it's found the Linux images and there's the Windows boot manager. And now we're going to reboot. All right, grub is now up and we have the Windows boot manager so we can boot into Windows. All right, so it's booted into Windows. So that's it. That's how you can dual boot Windows with Arch Linux on the same drive. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.